Okay, so here's another low quality video about a neat idea. So this here is my first rocket stove and I'm going to rate it using the Ottawa rocket scale. So it is made in a five gallon metal bucket here. Let's take you from the top down. Um, so there are rebar pot holders here. The top lip forms a bit of a pot skirt for a large enough pot. And we can look down, it is made with fire brick in here. This is off the shelf fire brick. Uh, it's not insulative, but all around it, around the outside, is a combination of uh, concrete, sorry, Portland cement and sawdust. It, uh, it's spongy and it's held up for a few years, but by far not the best thing to use. Uh, down below here, you can see we've got a little uh, piece of metal to elevate the wood that's going in when we burn it and to allow for air entry below. So I'm going to pull you over now to the Ottawa rocket stove scale and um, we'll just take you through the points. So the first one here, insulated combustion chamber. It's insulated with the uh, the sawdust. Um, pot skirt, I gave us a 0.5 because this one only works for very large pots. Uh, low mass, no points here. This one's because it's heavy with the fire brick air channel it has, race fuel it has, and the chimney proportions are uh, this kind of rule of thumb I found somewhere that I've put in here. And it has a durable black back plate, um, which is made of the fire brick as well. In terms of durability and sustainability, uh, it's not made of a metal combustion chamber that's going to burn right out. It does contain Portland cement that's going to uh, flake away as it heats up. It is kind of flimsy and brittle with the uh, the sawdust in there. It contains wood uh, sawdust, so that's another point uh, that I score here. These are all points that I'm going to lose. So I tally these up, I get 5.5. Over here I get a 3, and I subtract the 3 from the 5.5 to give me a 2.5. And on my scale here, um, an E would be a 3 on 6, an F is a two or less so I'm gonna get an E and so that sounds like a pretty bad stove and you know what it is compared to Larry Winiarski's original ones but this is the best damn one I've made so far it's been awesome for camping I've been able to heat up a cattle brand in it and uh, it's better than no stove at all um, but there's lots of room to improve here and that's why I made the scale so this one's an E if you want to see an A, look at the link down below and you can see uh, Larry Winarski's stove and he, the creator of the rocket stoves, obviously scores um, an A and that's something to shoot for. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them. This is a new tool I've made and um, it's based on Larry Winiarski's uh, kind of first principles of rocket stoves. There's a link down below too you can click on and um, Tell me what you think. Thanks, bye.